I've learned that there's a lot of beauty in slowing down and not feeling guilty for going slower than the rhythms of life. When I look outside at the busy streets, the people walking their dogs, going to work, knowing that that is perfect and that's not where I'm at right now. I crave slowness and stillness and ease in my day. I crave the rhythms of the fall. I too am shedding my leaves. I too am hibernating, getting ready for winter, cocooning, if you will. Lately, I've been doing a morning practice that's inspired by my Reiki path. I was recently certified as a Reiki master, <laughs> and I am no master. I am a humble, humble student. Although I theoretically hold that title, it feels like I've actually been in initiated into a lifelong path of being a true student. Reiki simply means spiritual energy, or soul energy, or true energy. And that is a concept that I can confidently say I will devote my whole life to understanding it a little bit more. Part of my practice has been allowing my voice to be heard and allowing myself to be okay with what is heard. Hearing myself sing, hearing myself maybe be a little off key or hearing that the neighbors might know that I'm drumming and singing at 9 a.m., but that's okay. It's part of my practice, and it has been extremely empowering to unleash my voice and share it with others. I found that as I'm more confident with my singing, I'm also more confident with speaking my truth and standing up for how I'm feeling and honoring my emotions and honoring my heart of hearts. Thich Nhat Hanh has been a huge, huge teacher for me. This book, You Are Here, has been a beautiful guide of presence and mindfulness, especially as I've navigated my mom's passing. He talks about how the best practice is to simply acknowledge your heart and what you're feeling in your heart, speaking to your heart like you would a tender child. I've recently gotten a little bit into human design, I'm just scratching the surface, but I learned that both Sage and I are, I think it's called close, closed taste, <laughs> where it's best for us to eat pretty much the same thing at the same time every day. The consistency is great for our digestion types. So Sage and I have oatmeal for breakfast every single day, pretty much. And I like to get creative with it today I did a pumpkin spiced oatmeal with raisins, honey crisp apples, pecans, walnuts, and forager vegan yogurt on top. I've been reading a lot and I find that I feel very safe and at home in the world of a book. These are some books that I've read recently that I really, really like. Reiki Insights by Francina, who's a great Reiki teacher. Signs by Laura Jackson has been recommended to me a lot. You Are Here, Thich Nhat Hanh, Mary Oliver Devotions is a beautiful poetry book. Ina May's Guide to Childbirth is a really wonderful book if you are thinking about doing a home birth or wanting to learn more about natural childbirth. The Book of Longings by Sue Monk Kidd was absolutely stunning. I could not put it down. It was so, so beautiful. Siddhartha is a wonderful book if you are someone who thinks about and is curious about consciousness and the paths that we walk. 
in this spiritual existence. It is a great book full of a lot of wisdom. And the last two, The Last Queen and The Many Daughters of A Fong Moi, are beautiful stories with the female characters and the intertwined lives of their mothers and grandmothers and ancestors and very, very empowering, engaging, captivating books. Getting out of the house, even for a little bit, was really supportive to me. I like to go cruise around and see where I wind up. Usually it's somewhere in East Austin or around downtown, but today I wanted to go to one of my favorite coffee shops. I've seen my love, my love, love, love. My soul and soul and toe to toe. The fear has gripped me, but here I go. also head to a new bookstore I had never tried out before and safe to say I will be going back many many times. Book People is a stunning bookstore. I could be in there for hours and in fact I was. I got quite a few books. Some of them are about grief. Some of them are witchy stories, fantasy stories. I really like those lately. <laughs> And one, uh, Reincarnation Blues, looked like a really interesting take on reincarnation and karma in a funny fiction type of book. Cooking and baking, doing things with my hands, working with the bounty of the earth is so, so healing and grounding for me and I'm really present while I do it. I can sing or listen to some music and just be with the food. Today I made a kind of fall hash. I was craving that. Um, I did sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, zucchini, mushrooms, black beans, kale. Topped it off with some avocado, cilantro, and salsa. It was absolutely delicious. tea is one of my favorites. I made these pumpkin muffins the other day and I've been eating them every single day. They're so, so good. I got the recipe from Half Baked Harvest. Dipsy, thank you so, so much, Dipsy. I've really been exploring um, what true self-love is and what that means. And 
just kind of thinking about the idea that, you know, what we're taught or what we're modeled is more and more and more, go, 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 more face masks, more yoga classes, more self-care days, you know, whatever it is. Um, and those are all beautiful. And you can do all of that over and over, more and more and more, go, 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 and still not um, love yourself more or get to know yourself more. Um, so I guess getting to know yourself, loving yourself, not as a, a something to accomplish or something to do, but something that just is <laughs> and really softening into it and settling into it. And there's lots of ways that I do that. Um, meditating, number one, journaling, writing, a lot of poetry, but just really listening to what is within and um, becoming a compassionate witness of everything. And actually, one of the practices that has helped me get to know myself more than so many other things is my self-pleasure practice. My self-pleasure practice has taught me so much about myself and has helped me expand and heal and um, love myself on a very deep level. So I'm so excited about today's sponsor, Dipsy. If you don't know Dipsy already, I think you will really, really enjoy it. Pleasure is their number one mission, <laughs> um, specifically pleasure for women. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of sexy audio stories made for your pleasure. There are all kinds of fantasies, situations, um, pleasure templates, different types of like kink levels and exploration levels, um, different scenarios you might daydream about. You can guarantee that you'll find something here that will fit your fancy. They bring scenarios to life with this all immersive audio experience, um, you know, like at yoga class and you meet this person and it takes off from there or you have a British professor who, um, you know, is looking at you in a certain way, like just any fantasy that you can think of, pretty much you'll find it there. And what I really like is that if you have a character that you connect with, that um, fits your you know, pleasure template. You can follow along with that character and see if they're in any other stories. So if you really like Damien, then you can listen to more stories with Damien in it. And they have different like perspectives too. So some of the stories, it's like your um, third person, like witnessing a scene. And some of them, it's like the characters talking directly to you, like dirty talk before bed or something. New content is released on the app every single week, so you will never get tired or get bored of the app. There's always something new to enjoy. And they also have other stories besides just um, erotic stories. They have wellness sessions, um, kind of like meditative experiences you can listen to. And they also have some sleep sessions. So if you are someone who enjoys like relaxing and really winding down before bed, they have some really great sleep sessions for you on there as well. And very exciting, I was thrilled when I saw this. They also have stories that you can read. So that's my favorite. <laughs> I love the audio stories and I love reading. Um, and letting my imagination just run wild. If that's your cup of tea, they have that as well. I encourage you to check out Dipsy and let it be the thing that spices up your personal pleasure practice, your sex life with your partner, um, your fantasies, your creative life. It's really incredible what sexual energy can do and bring to your life. So check it out. Dipsy is kind enough to offer all of you a 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash Rohini. So that is 30 days of full access for absolutely free if you go to dipsystories.com slash Rohini. That's dipsystories.com slash Rohini. Thanks, Dipsy. In this video, I wanted to share my day with you, how I'm navigating, honoring my emotions and my mental state while also um, being productive. <laughs> More like reframing what productive even means for me. What does it mean to get the things done that 
I need to get done in an easeful, graceful way? What does it mean to be fully present when I'm making breakfast or washing my face or walking Henry or reading or baking? What does that look like? How can I find the utmost pleasure and joy and gratitude being exactly where my feet are? Right here, right now. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you all my love, Rohini.